Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the my first impression on the NARS Sheer Glow foundation that I bought on Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and go straight into it. I guess I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the product as I go and um, sort of tell you how it's applying and how I like it so far. Um, I will just say I did get matched in the shop however I only got matched here on my jaw. Um, she didn't take all my makeup off and redo my whole face, she only did my jawline so I haven't exactly worn this all over the face yet. So all I've done this morning is I'm just going to put a little bit of moisturiser on and all I've done is I've used my Estee Lauder face wash. I exfoliated last night so I didn't exfoliate this morning and I used my Body Shop toner and my Body Shop um, face spritz just to hydrate my skin. Hence why I'm having a couple of breakouts at the moment because I'm trying a few new products out at the moment. So my face is going a little bit crazy. Or should I say my skin. So the first thing I'd like to point out with this is there is no SPF in this foundation. Normally I like to have my um, SPF in my foundations just because I like to protect my skin from the sun. However, I do use an SPF in my sun cream, um, my day creams. So I'm not too worried because I already have SPF in my moisturiser. And then the next thing that gets me a little bit is in the shop at the counters, They all the tops had a pump and I didn't realise, I didn't think to ask, but this doesn't actually come with a pump so I'm just going to have to tip it out. I do, my Estee Lauder one is the same and so is my Bobbi Brown foundation but I just feel that you can be quite wasteful with foundations like that if you pour out too much if you're not careful enough so I do prefer if they have a pump but I did look online and I the only place I found I could buy one was Nordstrom um, online which I'd have to get shipped across from America so I'm gonna have a little look and see if I can get one from Selfridges where I bought this from because I would prefer a pump if not then does anyone else know out there where I might be able to get a pump for my foundation. She told me that I'd be best to apply this just using my fingers but I'm kind of only getting back into using my fingers for foundation so I think today I'm just going to use my uh, face blending brush by Bobbi Brown. This is just a small version. I think I'm going to use this rather than my buffing brush because I've been using that for bronzer. It's a bit dirty. Oh I forgot to say this is in the shade Gobi. Um, because I am rather pale. So I'm just gonna pour an, ooh. And before I do pour any out, I have to, it does say to shake well on the back of the packet. So I'll give it a bit of a shake. I thought the shade range for this foundation was actually quite good when I was in the shop. Um, they seem to have a lot of different colors. So, she did say you didn't need too much, so I'm not going to put a load out on my hand. And the good thing about this is, I really like, is it's actually full right up to the top here. So it, you're getting like a whole bottle of foundation, which is always good. So I think all I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my brush into the foundation and then blend it into my face. And I've got about that much on my hand. It doesn't seem too runny in consistency, which is good. So I'm just going to start working that into the skin. Blends really well. So yeah, it's blending really, really well and it's actually cancelled out the redness that I have on my cheeks really well as, as well. Oh, I should probably say that I have dry skin as well, in case you're all wondering. My skin type is in fact dry. Doesn't feel too sticky or dewy on my skin either. I can see that it hasn't really cancelled out this bad guy here. The coverage for this foundation is supposed to be medium to heavy, but 
but I prefer, I don't really like heavy foundation, so medium is good for me. Um, although if it was heavy, I'd kind of expect it to cancel out this little spot here, so I'll have to get some concealer on him. Just take a little bit over my eyelids. And I always like to take a little bit down my neck. Now because this is a prop, uh, actually a really good match for my skin tone, I look really pale because unfortunately I am and it's actually cancelled out a lot of the redness in my skin as well. Um, although the camera is currently accentuating the horrible bags under my eyes and the veins in my eyelids because I didn't sleep very well last night. So you can probably tell right now. So, yes. Um, I like to work my foundation in quite a lot. It doesn't feel too clammy on my skin. It doesn't feel drying at all. So, it's a little bit sticky to touch, but I imagine as it dries, it should set a little bit better in the skin. I'm just going to flip my mirror around because it's zooms in it doesn't appear to be sticking to any of my dry patches that I have I'm just gonna put a little bit here because I haven't managed to get the brush that close to my eyebrows it doesn't appear to be clinging to any dry patches on my skin like I said I'm definitely gonna have to use a concealer with this foundation because it has not cancelled out the purple discoloration under my eyes and this this bad guy here that is just staring at you in the camera, I'm so sorry that you have to look at that. Um, yeah, it's covered up a few things. I do have as well a scar on my top lip. And it's cancelled out the redness completely, but it is still visible. Obviously, you, I imagine you can probably see, that, see it in the camera. Um, if I just zoom you in and give you a little bit of a close-up of my skin... So yeah, as you can see, you can see the scar there, um, you can see he's a little bit red still, but all the redness on my cheeks and forehead is completely gone. Obviously you can see a little bit of discoloration under my eyes, so I will have to conceal with this foundation, but overall the match is absolutely so I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup, and then I will be right back. Hi guys, and welcome back. Um, I've done my makeup now. So I've just done my eye makeup, I haven't done my eyebrows, I've done a little bit of bronzing and some blusher. I've put no powder on whatsoever and I just did a little bit of concealing as you can see. Um, and I just wanted to say I didn't show you the time when I first started filming but it was probably about half past ten when I put this foundation on. It's now ten to twelve because um, unfortunately I have a two year old that needs attention as well when I'm doing my makeup. So, yes, um, I hope you like this video, um, I will keep you updated throughout the day, so far so good, it's not clinging to any dry patches, it's sitting really nicely on my skin, now that I've got some bronzer on and some lip colour, it looks flawless to me, I think it looks amazing, and it's not clinging to dry skin, I think my skin looks fresh, it looks vibrant, slightly luminous as they say it should do with this foundation and I just think it looks overall quite glowy and not too dewy either so so far so good I will keep you updated throughout the day I probably won't do one now till when Tyler's in bed or just before he wakes up and then I'll give you a quick update before I take my makeup off. Hi everyone and welcome back um this is update number two I think or three I'm not sure so it's but quarter it past it's quarter yeah, 20 past 2 in the afternoon. I thought I'd give you a quick update on how the foundation is sitting for me and um, how it feels on my skin and things. And so far, I've got to say, I'm absolutely loving it. I have to thank Rouge Pout and um, who else was it on Twitter that also suggested I got the NARS Sheer Glow. Get Twitter up. It was Lola Fruit Kiss, or um, Rachel, which I also have to thank you because she also suggested that I get the NARS Sheer Glow. So I'm really happy that I did. It's sitting really well. It hasn't clung to any dry patches. Um, it's 
seems to have kind of gone more, even more matching with my skin, if that makes sense. How some foundations kind of match more as you've worn them a little bit longer and they've had time to settle. That's definitely happened with this foundation. It hasn't left me with any lines. My bronze has gone on really well. It hasn't made the bronzer go on any different. It hasn't moved when I put on the bronzer. I haven't powdered. I don't feel like I need to touch up at all. I still feel like it looks just as good as when I put it on and I haven't exactly just been sat around the house all day. I've been um, cleaning, I've been moving boxes, I've been rearranging rooms, well to a degree as much as I can while being pregnant and without needing help. Um, so yeah I've been quite busy, I've been getting a little bit hot and flustered and I haven't felt the need to go and powder or blot my skin or anything so I'm really really happy so far with this foundation. Yeah very happy big thumbs up and I will see you all again in my next update so welcome back again everyone T the time is now half past five I am extremely extremely happy with this product um, again the Nars Sheer Glow in the shade Gobi it was the perfect shade it sits nice on the skin it gives a nice kind of luminous look to the skin it's not too dewy which you'd ex kind of expect in a hydrating or foundation aimed for drier skin types you'd expect it to kind of be very dewy and wet looking on the skin but it's not at all um, which is a positive as well because I can find that sometimes they can feel a little bit clammy throughout the day and then if you get a little bit hot they can then start to look just horribly just make you look really grease ridden and sweaty I'm just going to look in my mirror and I honestly can't see any kind of bits that I could do with touching up. Um, my under eye concealer has lasted really, really well. This guy over here doesn't seem to be showing through too much, but his, it, I can't really do very much about it. It's a blemish. It's going to come through whether I want it to or not. Around my chin doesn't look too bad at all. It looks like there's a little bit of kind of wear um, in the foundation from obviously you lean on your chin a lot eating, um, just normal day-to-day -day habits, but overall really really happy with it. It's again it hasn't clung to any dry patches, it's got it's got a very good in my opinion, it's amazing. I would definitely repurchase this and I will definitely, I'm so glad I actually bought it and I'm thankful to Rouge Pout and Lola Fruit Kiss for the on Twitter for the recommendation so thank you ladies you have saved my life when it comes to foundation because I haven't had one that looks this good on my skin other than my Estee Lauder one since um, getting pregnant and my Estee Lauder one I knew was slightly too dark um, so I was having to blend it right down my neck and that just makes more work so now I have something that matches yes I may look pale and people are going to comment down below probably saying how pale I am. However, I've got fair skin. At the moment, I'm not really fake tanning or anything because I'm putting a lot of oils on my belly and things. So I'm not overly fussed. Embracing my pale skin and just going with the flow. So, yes, I'm going to end this video here. Hopefully it's not too long. I will cut out as much as I can that's sort of rambling. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And I will do a review to go with this, a first impressions um, little blog to go with it, which I'll link down below. And if you would like to see a review more in depth, um, maybe in a few weeks, once I've worn it a lot more, Big thumbs up please if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys!